just want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Ray's Energy from, and Rep Sports. If you want to get a good energy drink, Rep Sports is the way to go, especially with the Ray's Energy brand. I've got here the limited edition Voodoo flavor and the limited edition Apollo flavor. Be sure to follow all the links down here and in the description below. Use the coupon code SALZER88 and you will get 15% off your purchase and part of that kickback goes back to me. Thank you very much. Here's the video. Hello, welcome to MMA Freak Fire of the Week. I'm Matt Salzer, and this week we are going to go over the three events that happened this last week. First of all, we're going to cover one on TNT, which was Demetrius Johnson finally challenging for the one championship flyweight championship against Adriano Moraes, and it did not go Johnson's way this time, and that partially has to do with the rule set in one championship he got nailed in the face by a knee in a scramble because they do the what's referred to as the global mma rule set which allows knees to the head of a downed opponent so not to mention morais is this very lanky guy for a man of that weight and it was just one of those things where it happened and upsets happen and maybe Demetrius Johnson just wasn't used to the rule set. But either way, it was a uh, upset because remember, Demetrius Johnson has only lost one match in the last few years, and that was to Henry Cejudo, and that was a very close fight. So this was really unexpected, not to mention the fact that he blazed through the Flyweight Grand Prix and won it, and that's what got him in this title shot. So. Definitely an upset. I would have to say that unless something major else major happens, this would probably be an upset of the year. And but we're just gonna have to wait and see. Either way, uh, Morais has definitely put himself on the map in terms of major fighters because we usually don't see one championship guys actually establish themselves. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens from here. Also of note is at that same event, Eddie Alvarez got DQ for a strike to the back of the head. Honestly, I have seen more questionable calls from more blatant strikes to the back of the head. I don't know why this one was so controversial. Um, also the fact that why would you, it's like, wh why, why would you risk paralysis and possibly death and possibly other types of nerve damage in order to get a, a DQ win? Like the guy turned his head as Eddie was punching the side of the head and started punching the back of the head. It's just... I don't know. I mean, the rules exist for a reason to protect the fighters because of the fact that the back of the head is a really vulnerable spot, but it's just one of those things where, I mean, really it should have been more like a no contest. They should have done it that way instead of calling it a DQ. It doesn't really help anybody. That was one on TNT, the first one on TNT event. There will be another one next week, but I'll talk about the preview there. Then with Bellator 256, you had Ryan Bader coasting into a decision against Yoto Machida. And Bader finally gets that rebound win. Well, to be fair, he wasn't on a losing streak. He lost his last fight. But he gets that rebound win that he needed against a past opponent. Where does Machida go from here? I mean, he's done so-so since fighting in Bellator. It's just one of the questions of, well, what happened there? Also of note, for the fire of the week for Bellator, with Bellator 256, I'm giving it to the only finish of that main event with Kat Zingano. Also, in case I didn't mention it, the one on TNT fire of the week is going to be Adriano Moraes because of the upset win. Then, let's go into UFC on ABC2. For the fire week, I'm going to give it to the always slick submission artist Mackenzie Dern. And... Then, with the main event, you had Marvin Vittori facing lace re replacement Kevin Holland in the main event. 
And Holland definitely did better than he did against Derek Brunson. I don't think Holland was completely there, and the fact that he was able to do this kind of turnaround just goes to show how, why he got five fights in the last year, which is especially impressive considering it was COVID season. But he just wasn't able to rebound this time, and Vittori slowly begins to rise. We're going to see if eventually he'll get his rematch against Israel Adesanya. That was this last weekend, and for this next week, with one on TNT, we're going to see in the main event Christian Lee, who is the one lightweight champion, defending against Timofey Nastyu Kim, who is been established as kind of a star in one, so we'll see how that goes. Then with Bellator 257, we have for the main event and also in the Grand Prix, the light heavyweight Grand Prix because Bader and Machida were the first fight in the first round, we're going to see Bam Nevkov defending his title against Phil Davis. That is a rematch, and we're going to see how that goes. The winner will be the champion, but will also advance and I believe face the winner of Bader versus Machida. Then we have Corey Anderson facing a guy whose name I cannot pronounce. I'm going to say that he's probably going to win that one. Though, to be fair, the guy was the absolute championship Achmet light heavyweight champion. And this is his first fight in Bellator, so we'll see how that goes. Then, with the main event on UFC on ESPN 22, we have Robert Wicker versus Kelvin Gastelum. This is a fight that's been called off, unfortunately, multiple times due to multiple issues, but it's finally starting up. And we'll see how this one goes, because these are two fighters who are looking to possibly re-earn a shot against Israel Adesanya. Both of them have faced Israel Adesanya. Both of them have lost. We'll see how it goes. It's going to be another packed week of MMA this week. It is a good week to be an MMA fan. Thank you very much. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of all the past events, what you think is going to happen with this coming week of events. Be sure to check out MMA-Freak.com for exclusive content. Be sure to check out our Twitter at MMA Freakout. Be sure to check out my personal Twitter and Instagram at Matthew Salzer. And also be sure to check out Rep Sports for, and use the promo code SALZER88 and you will get 15% off and part of that kickback goes back to me. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.